I'm Tina. Mm, in this video, we will use uh, annotation to configure uh, servlet instead of uh, XML file. Okay. Um, uh, let's start. We will go to our ID. Mm, I'm uh, let's let's do from scratch, okay? Because uh, you you I want to keep the source code so you, you guys can use. And later on, we will come back and show you. Uh, let's new. You. What you can do is you can we can new, and then you can create it from archetype, or you, we can start from scratch and so like JSP we. First, uh, uh, first uh, annotation separate. I don't have a good name, sorry. And the finish and the new window. Okay, let's use the three window. And for here, we have to have some Maven plugin. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy from previous. I don't want to write from scratch, and also I don't remember. Uh, first survey demo and here all the properties okay and a packaging remember and here build and now let me I'm still not familiar with uh, this one mm -hmm. And let me change this name to be the one we showing here. Okay, and make sure if you create it like this way, make sure the packaging is a WAR file because by default Maven is a JAR file, and Tomcat need of I have a lot of uh, Tomcat to have to have a WAR file. Okay, and now we also can have a, a web inf and others like uh, to to be like the structure like this uh, not, not like this uh, first of all we also can have web app and a web inf but we don't need to have web.xml file okay mm, let's go back uh, sorry open sorry for this okay and man and here we can create directory called the uh, uh, web app that's the um, default or oh, that's a, a maven structure you have to follow like this otherwise uh, maven don't know how to uh, wrap your application as a, what should i say wrap your application as a wall file okay and here we can have an index.html file Okay, and uh, cancel and welcome. And here is welcome. Okay, and now we can do yes to deploy to see everything is uh, fine, right? And for let me check, I think everything is fine. And uh, for Eclipse, unfortunately, every time you have to add again. Okay, and here we have to add that artifact. Cancel. Cancel, cancel, Maven, we have to wrap. Let me see if we can find it now. It doesn't have that artifact, which means we cannot deploy. Oh, it have, okay. Anyone is fine. And uh, we server, oh, good, okay. And we deploy, okay. And here, I think I have to change the port number because there's an, another one called eight. Let me also change this one eight, okay. Apply. Otherwise, uh, uh, I cannot because they have uh, two the same port number. Okay, it will have the address bind a uh, binding error. Mm, okay, so now let me show you the uh, the application. Okay, deployed successfully already, and the localhost. Hello, do you see welcome? 
welcome, which is successful, right? Now we can create a, a what what should I say? Now we can create a servlet, and you can see in our application we don't have web file. Now we create a class. We can create a servlet, but I don't want to remove those um, uh, what's the a package because when we when are we using create a servlet behavior here it will create a servlet using java x dot servlet package not jakarta servlet okay so i'm gonna do like this way oh, i want to create a package first then create a sub class okay called a simple servlet how about like like this okay and for a servlet all the servlet must extends HTTP servlet no matter we are using XML to config or using annotation to config and here we only override the do get method okay and here we're using uh, let's uh, response dot set account type suppose we want to using html okay and then we're using we get the uh, out stream and now we can using out dot print line then here you can write html like html and the body right and here out dot print line and then here we can using uh, hello from Tina and then we can our dot print line and we have to close even though we don't close um, browser will do their best but it's better to close like this right and now we have to config to give the uh, annotation we don't have web file and then using web servlet we can take a look at inside web servlet this is the annotation uh, there are two which are required one is a value or url pattern they bo both of them refer to the same thing they are alias to each other okay they are alias to each other and they are the only required values to be given when I when we using web servlet which means here you can either like a suppose we're using hello how, how about like I said using hello okay then uh, this one uh, this is to set value to uh, set a hello uh, to value attribute and it's the same as this one okay and it's the same as this one okay uh, uh, this is the same as pre uh, previous one because for uh, here we omit the uh, attribute right by default, you are assigned to the hello, okay? And you are a pattern and the value kind of like an alias to each other, okay? So you can either using all of them this ways. You can also using, um, I will comment this, okay? You can also have multiple values like this. Web server late. And this is to set a value to uh, value attribute like a hello, hello okay we can using uh, multiple okay you can you can also add a slash uh we we can add a, uh, normally i will add a slash okay and the slash simple okay and this is one you can add a multiple you yeah, sorry you can also using url patterns to add sublate and here we can using UI patterns and you can give multiple values like the one. Let me try, I didn't, I didn't, I always add a slash. Let me try one without any slash, okay? A word like this, see if, so all of them kind of like the URL, the user used when you using the form action or you in the URL, 
uh, browser bar, you type, uh, type localhost and slash hello, they can uh, access, it can be handled by this one. Okay, so uh, let me uh, deploy, redeploy, and I show you. Okay, the, this is the only required one, all others are option one. I will, sh I will explain to you all others later. We cannot. Yeah, we cannot. Okay, we cannot. We have to have a slash. Okay, we have to have a slash. Doesn't work. Okay, it have a warning. Okay, very good. I never used. Okay. Mm, deploy successfully. Now let's go here. This is our home, right? And now if we type hello, you will see hello from Tina, which is uh, uh, handled by do get request, right? And uh, let me check if my, it's good. Okay, it's good. And now if I type uh, a simple, slash simple, still be the same, hello from Tina. Like if I type word, it's still handled. But if I type something else, you will see for four because we don't have any um, servlet to handle this URL, right? So this is the one. I hope you understand clearly about how to use in web servlet only for value attribute and the URL pattern. And let us see others, okay? Uh, name, you can specify a web servlet name, but uh, I don't see any benefits or affect how uh, servlet is working, okay? And the load on startup, uh, this one is to define the load on startup order of the servlet, okay? When we start up an application and which servlet to be load first and which servlet to be load second, and you can specify using this attribute, okay? And the web init prime, this one is to uh, set some uh, servlet initialization parameters, but we will talk about later, okay? Uh, we I don't want to introduce now, and uh, this one, the value is true or false, which means uh, does your server data support for asynchronous operations, okay? And you can also have a small icon, large icon. You can also have a description. You can also have a display name. And uh, all of these four, sorry, uh, except value and UI patterns, all of others are optional, okay? And uh, like uh, load on startup, init prime, and asynchronous support, they do have some effect on how servlet gonna work. Like when servlet is initialized, that this servlet will have some initial uh, parameters, or this servlet will support for asynchronous operations. But for all these four, small icon, large icon, description, display name, they doesn't affect no matter you set or don't set they don't affect how servlet gonna work okay they are actually used for IDE or tools and uh, or Tomcat to better display this servlet okay uh, normally I don't because normally when I my experience is using spring okay I don't use servlet uh, quite often now, okay. But uh, oh, when I need, normally I only just to specify URL patterns. Uh, so far, I haven't specified others, okay. So use as you need it. Uh, specify different values for different attributes as you need it. So that's it. Uh, no, 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 that's it. That's it for this demo. Okay, we have a servlet, and we don't have any web.xml. We only use servlet. And now I have several demos to show you. Let's go back to our first servlet demo. In a project, okay, servlet project, you can have a web.xml. You, you and also the annotation. 
existing in one project. Let me show you. Okay, so here I create a simple sublet like the last one, okay? And here extends HDB sublet, okay? And I will call a do, a do override do get method and for the value, what I'm gonna do is change it, just change it from here, okay? Uh, this is using a notation. like this okay okay and here we can using web servlet too and here we can using uh, uh servlet a okay so a slash we have to add a slash we you have to add a slash otherwise you cannot have uh, errors servlet b so here, for this simple servlet, I didn't configure using XML, I just using annotation. Uh, sorry, I just using annotation, right? But for Hello World, we are using web.xml to configure. Both can exist in one servlet. Let me redeploy. This one is 8080. Okay, and now we can do is uh, open, I'm gonna open here. So I'm gonna go to our browser and type this one. This one is for default, right? And now we can access the hello. It will gonna go to our hello servlet. Right, it works. And now we can go to access our simple servlet. Now, and here I will using a uh, servlet A. This is your annotation, and also we can use servlet B. It works, right? But you, but the URL cannot be the same. Suppose I add another one. This URL is the same as uh, the URL we can already configured for hello servlet and they are the same then it's gonna have problem okay when we deploy you are gonna see uh, except uh, exception okay we redeploy see here gonna gonna have exception illegal argument exception servlet hello world and a simple servlet are both using the URL pattern hello. So you cannot using the same URL for different servlet. You, you kind of have ambiguous. That Tomcat don't know which one to call, right? So it got through exception. So that's it. I think all the things I want to show you about using web servlet. And uh, for uh, like a web ear, you need prime. We will show you later, okay? Thank you for watching and uh, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.